The extreme weather is climate change, and so we can only expect that they're going to get worse and worse if we don't take action now. Hey, Jen. I'm Dr. Burt. I'm an atmospheric scientist at Colorado State University. Nice to see you. My daughter was born almost a year ago, and we had to clean ash off of our windshield before we drove to the hospital. So we drove like to the hospital with this, you know, wildfires not far from us. And I think after having my two little girls in the last four years, I've just become so much more aware of just all this crazy weather. And I just feel like, like is this weather all related to climate change? Is it, is it something different? Like what's, what's, I don't know. Absolutely, the extreme weather is climate change. In particular, already this summer, like our drought levels are even worse than they were last year. So if we think about the fact that, you know, drier conditions lead to more wildfires, drier conditions impact the food that's growing in the areas that we're in, and that leads to food shortages. So we know that climate change is making droughts more severe, more long lasting, more dangerous. So I feel a little silly asking this, but what exactly is climate change? Do you want the long answer or the short answer? Um, let's go with the short answer. The science behind it is simple. You could probably talk to your four-year-old about it. But when we think about climate change, it's as we continue to produce more fossil fuels, burning things in like factories and driving cars or airplanes, we're putting more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And that carbon is becoming like a carbon pollution blanket. That's how I like to think about it. And that blanket is trapping in heat. And as that blanket gets thicker and thicker, our planet is warming and warming. Okay, so it's like a big, ugly blanket. <laughs> so do all scientists agree on this? Over 99% of scientists agree that climate change is real, it's happening, and it's impacting the places that we're in. And so we can only expect that they're gonna get worse and worse if we don't take action now. I think people feel like, well, one person can't do anything, so what, what do you do to kind of keep like, fighting that good fight? The reason that I'm not just sitting at home crying is because of my daughter, right? Because I am concerned about her. This is actually one of the reasons that we started Science Moms, because we wanted to provide other moms with that information so that they can take action. One mom, two moms, three moms, you can use your voice for our kids' future. So take your mom energy, talk to your leaders about climate change to say that you want them to switch to clean energy. So when you say clean energy, um, can you, I feel like that's a word, that's, that's a phrase that's thrown around a lot, but like, what does that really mean? What does that look like? It's like a buzzword, right? Um, right. But thinking about things like solar energy, wind energy, transforming the way that we make electricity. So thinking about it in those ways. I mean, I feel like it's crazy. We're, we're able to sit here and have a conversation with each other through a box in our hand. We have all this technology. And obviously there are some companies that are really leading the way in this. So why though, it seems like we, we must have the solutions. Is it, is it a, mostly a government level? Is it a corporation level? It's all of the above, right? I think there's a lot of misinformation that's out there that can kind of distract people from, from really understanding what the actual problem is at hand. The way that I really like to look at it is that, you know, we know how climate change is caused, human induced, human caused. We know what the solutions that are necessary to tackle it. We just need our policymakers to take action and to hear from us. And I know um, that our elected officials want to do something about it, I think they need that collective push from us. And if anyone's going to do it, moms are going to do it, right? <laughs> so we know how to make it happen if we need to make it happen. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Bird. This was super helpful. I feel um, a little more hopeful about some things I can start to do. And, and yes, you're right. Uh, it's, it's all about the mom. So I'm in it. And um, thank you. I really appreciate it. It was such a pleasure talking with you, Jen. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye.